Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited. I <laughs> Today we're gonna be reacting to my 2022 reading goals, seeing if I completed them. Spoiler alert, don't think I did for a lot of them, but I think I got close enough that we're gonna be okay. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm the worst person ever. <laughs> and then we're gonna set my 2023 reading goals. So this kind of bookends any kind of reflection that I have left on 2022 and brings us into 2023. I love a new year. I've always said my whole life, I love the beginning of a new year. So I get very excited to set goals. I love setting goals. I love a new beginning. You know, I love the start of a month. I love a Monday, right? I know a lot of people don't love Mondays. <laughs> it's getting weird. I love Mondays. I love any fresh beginning, any chance to start again. I love a morning. So I'm a morning person. So yeah, we're gonna be reacting to last year's goals. I cannot remember for the life of me what they are, if I'm honest. I have an inkling, <laughs> but I cannot remember what a lot of them are. There'll probably be a few that I completely forgot about. And then we'll chat about the few goals, reading goals and YouTube goals that I have going into 2023. So Let's just get into it without any further ado. But before we actually get into the video, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It is so, so cool. Their variety pack comes with four delicious flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. I love frosted. Frosted is by far my favorite. It is so tasty. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein and four to five net grams of carbs in each serving and only 140 calories in each serving. They are also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free and soy free. In 2023, I know we're talking about goals in this video and one of my goals has been to add more protein into my diet. A magic spoon has just been such a great way of doing that in like a delicious way. It's cereal, but it has protein in it. And yeah, I've really been loving it to up my protein. So start your new year off right with Magic Spoon. Make sure you guys click the link down below to grab a variety pack of Magic Spoon and to try it out today. Be sure to use my code MEGWITHBOOKS at checkout to get $5 off of any order or go to magicspoon.com forward slash MEGWITHBOOKS. And something that is so great is that Magic Spoon are so confident in their product, they have a 100% happiness guarantee. So if for any reason you don't like it, they will refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link down below and use the code MEGWITHBOOKS books for five dollars off or go to magicspoon.com forward slash meg with books to save five dollars today okay i've got to find the video <laughs> just keep scrolling just keep scrolling just keep scrolling scrolling got it okay i want to read 150 books this year i've been thinking about it i've been thinking about it and i was like i think i can do it like, okay why <laughs> that didn't happen <laughs> I did not read 150 books in 2022. I read 132, which was the most I'd ever read in a single year. Before that, the most I'd read in a year was 131. I've spoken about this numerous times in the past couple videos, but basically I just had a rough, start to 2022 and didn't read a ton. I think for the really the first half of 2022, I didn't feel like myself. I was struggling a bit mentally. I was struggling with YouTube. So yeah, I am happy with 132. I changed my reading goal to that in like September time because I accepted defeat that 150 <laughs> probably wasn't gonna happen. But I feel like my reading has gotten pretty consistent now. And I'm personally in January, I'm actually not aiming to read loads actually, but I say that I am now going to read loads. <laughs> But I did tell a bit of a lie there. For videos, I haven't got a ton of reading vlogs coming out in January. I'm trying to focus on my health a lot more in January. It's something that I didn't prioritize as much as I wanted to, both physical and mental health in 2022. And I'm hoping that if I give it a lot of focus in January, that focus would just naturally continue into the rest of the year. So I wasn't gonna be reading many books. I was probably gonna be reading like one, two, Hang on, maths. Seven books I was planning on reading in January. But I'm now probably going to be reading the whole of the Wayward Children series in a couple weekends, maybe. <laughs> like a buddy read thing that I'm doing. But yes, no, I'm not upset that I didn't reach 150 books now because I'd already accepted defeat many months ago. <laughs> this year is going to be the year of finishing series. I thought, what is realistic? What's realistic? And I've decided my goal by the end of the year is to be in the middle of 26 series. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. I 
hang on. In my brain, I've got that I set the goal to 29. What did I say in my series wrap up? Did I say 26 or 29? What did I say was the goal? I thought I, maybe this is just something I thought today. I don't know if this is a misconception I've had today. You'll know that a big goal for me this year was to get my number of series down, currently reading series down to 26. Hmm. <laughs> You don't think you talk. said all this stuff? Hold on, let Candy talk. Your ass is on tape saying No, maybe it was 26 I said it too. Well, obviously it was 26 I said it too. It is what it is. I think I ended 2022 on 33 series, currently reading in the middle of, so I didn't reach it. But in that video, I spoke about how the goal did what I wanted it to, where I really changed my habits around with series, with just reading the first book in a series and then not continuing. I started so, so many less series last year and finished so many more than I ever have. So yeah, on the whole, again, I'm not upset with this. This is what I'm saying. I didn't reach that particular goal, but it's fine because I kind of did what the goal was asking me to do. I made that habit change, which I think is all you can ask, right? It's just an arbitrary number that I made up. It doesn't really mean anything. The habit change is what means something. So I have got another series goal this year, which we'll chat about later. I'm, I want to talk about it, but I know I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> And then I just have two kind of mini goals around genres. So nonfiction, right? The past two years, I have set the goal of reading one a month, <laughs> one a month minimum, um, so 12 a year, and I have failed it. So this year I've decided to up it. <laughs> And I want to read 15 non-fiction books this year. One, five, 15. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought I said it to 12 again. I thought I said it to 12 again that year. I, I might exit this yeah. conversation Why? now. No, I want to have it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. Turns out I said it to 15. I didn't. I think I read 11 at a nonfiction book, which isn't terrible. Again, I would like to up it. I've said many times, if you've watched my videos, I feel like I'm a broken record, but some of you are new, so I have to repeat stuff. <laughs> God. When I started reading, I would read one fiction book, one non-fiction, one fiction, non one non-fiction. I read so much more non-fiction back when I started reading. And I love non-fiction. It's just that a, I feel like not as many people are interested or not as much my audience are interested in non-fiction and it's like fitting it into videos is sometimes tough. But I would like, I haven't got a non-fiction goal, like definitive goal this year, but I would like to again read probably about 15 non-fiction at least, at least. Oh my God, I can't believe I said it to 15. Didn't happen, but 11 isn't too far off, right? I feel like that's more than I read in years previous. So again, setting a higher goal, even though I didn't reach it, helped me up it. <laughs> And then my last goal is to read six classics. So in 2021, I did not read a single classic. <laughs> hmm, how did that go for you, Megan? How did that go for you? How did that go for you? How did that go for you? All right, so <laughs> in 2022, depending on how you want to class it, I think I read two or one classics, right? I read Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day, which was definitely a classic. And if you want to count Perilla End House by Agatha Christie as a classic, then I read two. If you don't want to class that as a classic, then I read one. Um, so I was going to start a video series in 2022 that would involve reading a lot of classics and I didn't do it. I would like to still do that, that series. Maybe I'll start in 2023. I just never started the series because I kept putting it off because I kept off putting reading classics, right? It's just my, it's just my problem. Okay. I can admit it's a problem. Yeah, I want to be a classic reading girly. I want to be reading Pride and Prejudice. I want to be reading Sherlock Holmes, Little Women, but like, they're long. I don't have the time. <laughs> Get your ass up and work. Okay, I think that, then I think I set some YouTube goals. So let's see what they are. I also, okay, let's just say these next two goals together. We'll chat about them in conjunction. I want one video that gets over 25K views. And I wanna push myself to take more risks in the videos I'm making. Okay, so I do feel like I took more risks with some of the content that I made this year. I was really proud of a lot of my videos I made this year. I don't wanna like shout any videos out because like, you know orcs but <laughs> on the whole I would say I'm really happy with the content that I made this year I'm really proud especially I'd say the second half of the year I really started like getting into it again I feel like the first half of the year I was in a personal funk I was in a YouTube funk it just wasn't going great but there's some videos in the second half of the year especially that I'm really proud of that I made there was one in particular that I like, got no views <laughs> it was a history of celebrities writing books but I loved that video like I thought that video was so much fun I loved the video where I tried tried to solve a murder mystery and had a whole 
crime board. And I loved a lot of the normal vlogs that I did this year as well. Now, in terms of having a video that reached 25K views, this is an interesting one. So I will try and I'll screen record on my laptop and show you some of this data. I would say I did reach this. So my most viewed video ever is now my where to start with murder mystery books with 27,000 views. So that's above 25. Obviously, we all know math. <laughs> We all know numbers. That, technically, I did upload in 2021, but I think, you'll see the numbers on the screen, I'll show you, but I think at the beginning of 2022, it only had about 5K views. It hadn't really picked up. It had been really just like, it got its views when it came out and then hadn't got many more views. And then it really hit the algorithm and the search, I think particularly like murder mystery books, YouTube search, and it's now got 27K. So I feel like that does count. Technically it was uploaded in 2021, but I did have a video reach over 25K views in 2022. So I feel like it counts. Also the most popular video that I uploaded this year, well there's two actually, my top 10 murder mystery books of all time. Oh, that's reached 25K views. Oh great, okay. <laughs> That's right, I did upload that in 2022, my top 10 murder mystery books of all time. And then the video that is very soon gonna become my most viewed video of all time is my reading the top 10 mystery thriller books of 2022, the Goodreads Choice Awards nominees. That's got 24K views in three weeks. So that's definitely gonna hit over 25K in the coming days, weeks. So I think I've reached that goal. The little, you know, my most viewed video, it got most of its views this year and then we've got those other two videos that I don't know if my top 10 murder mystery books of all time ranked quite got 25k in 2022. That's the only thing I'm not sure about. But like, I feel like across those three, we've reached that goal, you know? <laughs> okay, so that was our 2022 reading and YouTube goals. I've, I'm pretty happy. Listen, classics, non-fiction. I don't think I reached a single reading goal. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Dead ass. But like I said, it's not terrible and this is just for fun, right? And I feel like every year I'm getting better at knowing what reading goals I'm actually gonna reach and setting better ones. We're slowly getting there, right? <laughs> I've only been setting reading goals for like two years maybe. So I'm slowly getting better at actually doing attainable things. So let's chat about the few YouTube and uh, reading goals that I have for this year very quickly. There's not many and they're not very interesting, I'm gonna tell you right now. So in terms of books, in terms of the amount of books I would like to read in 2022, I'm setting my Goodreads goal <laughs> to 100 books, okay? I discovered I do not do well with negative feedback. I need positive affirmation, okay? So Goodreads ever telling me I'm one book behind schedule, I'm five books behind schedule, that does not motivate me to read more, that motivates me to read less, because I get panicky, I get anxious, I hate it. <laughs> so I'm setting it to 100 so that it keeps telling me, oh my god, you're doing so well, you're so ahead of schedule. But I would, in the back of my mind, I would really like to reach 150 books for the first time ever this year. Barring touch wood, anything going wrong <laughs> in my life, um, I feel like I can do it. I feel like I've been reading pretty consistently like 11 to 14 books the past couple months. How many books do you have to read a month on average to like reach 150. 12.5, that's what I thought. So I've been reading around and about that for the past couple months. So I think we're gonna do it, okay? But I'm setting my goal to 100 and if it's over 100, I'm happy. I mentioned series and my goal this year with series, I mentioned in the series wrap up video, is just to have a net negative with how many series I'm starting and finishing. So I'm starting the year on actually 34. I didn't add this to last year's statistics, but I realized there was a series I wasn't counting. It's the sanatorium. I don't know where the sanatorium is. I hadn't added this to the series spreadsheet, but I have read the sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. This is an arc that I got. And I have now got, I got it for Christmas, The Retreat by Sarah Pierce. And this is like individual murder mystery thriller books, but following the same detective, following the same character is a series. And I hadn't put that on there. So that takes us to 34 starting the year. So in 2023, I would just like to get to at least 33 series currently reading. That's all I'm asking for. It won't be a flop. I'm confident. I want a bit more freedom with being able to start a few more series this year, not being so strict on it, but I want to keep finishing series. I want to keep that goal. I will still do maybe a few series wipeout videos this year where I finish a whole series in a vlog because I really did enjoy doing those. So yeah, I feel like that goal is very attainable and something that I will still have to keep my eye on. I can't just start books and series with reckless abandon, but I feel like I have now 
solidified the habit of finishing series rather than just starting loads and that goal is just to kind of keep me accountable in that. I'd say probably my biggest and most difficult reading goal coming this year <laughs> is I want to get my physical TBR to under 200 books and I know that sounds ridiculous because I remember when I started my channel I think I had like 30 books, 30 physical books and I was like that's so much. I'd like just bought loads of books and I was like <gasps> See? I was like, what is going on? Yeah, now I have, I started 2023 on 227. Currently uh, owned physical TBR books. <laughs> And I would like to get that under 200. Now I know that sounds easy, it's only like 27 books, but I'm constantly, you know, buying new releases, we'll chat about that in a second, hauling new releases. So there is constantly new books coming in. So yeah, I hope to get it under 200. I would really like to get it closer to like 150. I don't know if that is realistic, like 160, 170, like something around that. I would really like to just get it lower. I feel like the sweet spot for me was when I had like about 120 on my physical TBR. We're over 100 over that so I would really like to like get it slowly down to that kind of level if we can. Don't know how realistic it is. I feel like under 200 I can definitely do but anything lower than that we are pushing it but I would like to get it as low as I possibly can but that involves buying less books and reading a lot more. The more that I read, the closer we get to it, so. <laughs> and then my final 2023 reading goal, I told you there was not many, I'm trying to keep it really realistic. My final one is to read more 2023 new releases than I read in 2022. So I feel like I'm getting better of reading new releases when they come out, but I'm still not great at it. I see some people, some booktubers, read like 100 2022 releases last year. I read, I think, 33, which isn't terrible. You know, I read 132 books, 33 of them were new releases but I would like to do more. So even if it's 34, again, I'm happy. All I'm asking is one more. Because <laughs> yeah, I would like to read more new releases when they come out. And I think it's fun to read new releases when they come out and when you're excited and when your pre-order comes in and when like everyone's hyped for it, you know? Some of my favorite memories of reading this year are when I read new releases as they came out and everyone was talking about it and you guys were just reading it. We got to read it together. And you know, I want to read new releases when they come out so that you guys know what you should be picking up and what you might enjoy that's coming out. So that's the aim. Don't know how we'll do it. No, I really think I can do it. I really think all these reading goals are realistic. Is it forward to me in like 2024? 2024, oh my, I'm gonna be 24. My God. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. My birthday's on January 28th and I'm gonna be turning 23. And I'm like, you can always tell what, how old I am by what year it is. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> getting old. It's getting serious, guys. I've got to be an adult and I feel like I'm not an adult. Anyways, 2024, saying 24 just gave me like a little bit of a crisis moment there. Yes, I feel like these are all realistic and I won't be here in 2024 telling you, oh, I didn't reach any of them. I feel like they're all stuff I can do. YouTube, I don't have any massive goals. I guess a goal, this isn't something that we can necessarily like quantify, but I would like to try and make more videos that the wider YouTube audience would want to watch. That's the goal. I feel like I started doing it this year. I feel like sometimes the videos I make are a bit niche. <laughs> And the kind of stuff that like people who watch a lot of booktube are gonna wanna watch. But I, I wanna be better at tuning into what like the general population might click on as like the occasional book video. Do you know what I mean? So that's my goal I would say this year. That's not quantifiable, but I would really like to achieve. So yeah, those are my goals this year. I told you they weren't very exciting, but I love setting goals and I feel like these are all ones that are attainable, keep me accountable, but still a little bit of a challenge. Let me know some of your goals, either your 2022 goals and whether you achieved them or not, or let me know what some of your 2023 reading goals are. I would love to know. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. If you got to the end of the video, comment the heart hands emoji. That's a new favorite one for me, the heart hands. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I comment the new heart. It's not new, but it's not on my laptop. So I view it as new. What am I even saying? <laughs> Comment that down below if you got to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!